Hey, what's up guys, Arava here, and welcome back to a brand new video today, and this one's really a part number two to part number one, I guess, of the one million R&D experiment we did on F1 2018 a few days ago. If you guys did miss that video, then be sure to check that one out before you see this one, because really, you need to see that first video to understand what you're about to see in this second video, so be sure to check that one out, annotation in the top right, but essentially, we, s we asked the question, what would happen if we had one million resource points? to spend on the Williams car from season one. We simulated through the entirety of season one into season two. We maxed out the car completely. You can see the ridiculousness of the rate of exponential growth uh, halfway through season one of just keep on going, keep on going. We got every single quality control, every single, you know, the failure control. We got every single part on aero, engine and chassis and reliability as well. Not that the reliability really mattered to the performance, but we got everything on the r and chart and there were so many so many comments and uh, uh, requests that I should have driven a race. It didn't even cross my mind to actually test out the car and see what it was like actually so thank you for all the suggestions that we should have done that and so here we are for part number two essentially of that video. I wasn't planning a part number two but there we go part number two essentially of that little F1 2018 experiment of now driving this maxed out fully maxed out Williams car from the back of the grid at the Chinese Grand Prix because that's where we got up to in that video and we're going to see how fast I can uh, basically get to the front of this grid. Obviously my teammate is going to be right up there, Lance Stroll pole position, so we got the two most important positions on the grid, but I'm going to see how fast I can get this maxed out car all the way to the front and match my teammate there, because obviously as you can see by the chart, our car is literally almost one and a half F1 grids better than the current grid or you know that I'm racing basically so it's gonna be very intriguing to see and then also at the end of the video we're gonna have a direct comparison between my maxed out Williams car and a default Williams car in time trial so stick around for that but if you guys do end up enjoying the video then be sure to smash that like button but let's get into this then to the Chinese Grand Prix we've got it set on a 25% race but you know what I don't think we're gonna even need that long I think we're gonna be be able to do it just before the pit stop phases. I think that's how fast this car may be, but let's actually have a go and see what it's like. As we're going to go now to five red lights from the back of the grid here for the Chinese Grand Prix and see how ridiculous this speed is going to be as we go to five lights and we're on the way and ironically, I still get a shocking start. Even with a max out car, I have a shocking start against the AI. Surprise, surprise. But then watch this. This is actually ridiculous. Look at the grip and downforce I have compared to everyone else. Around the outside, it's basically like I'm racing zero AI almost. This is like Verstappen at Russia in a way in the real life Grand Prix. We're side by side with the Haas of Magnussen and we're up into now P12 and we've literally got up to, we, we got up to turn two slash three in the, and we're up into P12. Down the inside of Carlos Sainz, pretty damn easy. To be fair though, actually what I notice is in the corners mid apex not necessarily i don't actually necessarily have uh, uh buckets of grip it depends on what corner really you saw into turn one at the very start of that grand prix definitely a lot more grip than the rest of the ai cars but once everything starts to kind of settle in these guys weren't going side by side like you can see up ahead between hulkenberg and bottas but once they kind of got clean air amongst themselves the the grip levels mid corner wasn't actually too crazy in at least to me it didn't seem like it was too crazy but on the straights, the engine power and the and the lightweight nature of the chassis is absolutely ridiculous. Like the amount of time we're just gaining on this straight, you can't really tell, but it's definitely there. And you'll be able to see what I mean when we actually catch up to these cars. And then straight line, once we get DRS on them, the, the straight line speed closing time is just ridiculous because we've got the acceleration. And you've also got the straight line speed. So both combined, you're just getting a better exit. And then also you're just climbing up the gears faster. And then once you get up to the top gear, we've got a good at least 12 to 13 miles per hour. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but it, it is a definitely a lot. Especially at the Chinese Grand Prix, of course. I actually didn't uh, forgot to mention this, but a little caveat is this entire time I'm running the default setup. Okay, so I'm running the default default setup so six six wings everything else is default the default setup's not actually too bad on this game I, I don't feel it's it's pretty okay for feeling comfortable in the car but it is a little bit slow in terms of giving you a bit too much straight line speed drag but even with that straight line speed drag of the default setup you can see I'm just still flying through these cars and we're already up into now p6 and we're only at sector two 
of lap two. So, like I said, I don't even think we're going to need the entire 25% race. I honestly think we can probably overtake all these cars before maybe lap six, I'm going to say. At the rate we're going, obviously, a few cars now are going to be a bit trickier. Maybe the Mercedes and the Ferrari. But now you literally can't make this up. My engineer just told me that Lance Stroll has issues in his race and in his car. And as we come around the final bend here, on the back straight, there he is. He's actually got issues that are retiring out of the Grand Prix. You literally cannot make it up. Even despite having a maxed out car, maxed out reliability, my teammate still gets some bad luck there. And so Lance Stroll is out of this 25% race in season two of this kind of little fantasy career mode we made up for the experiment. Absolutely bonk. That's just actually horrendously stupid. That kind of just shows the biggest flaw maybe in the game somehow is even with max reliability, the AI definitely have way too many reliability issues compared to the player um, as we now set the purple lap time there for lots of R&D. What, what a name that was. I, I, I like to see that some of you guys realise what my name was on the game and you like that there. I thought it was a pretty cunning and clever name. Lots of R&D points but uh, we're overtaking uh, Hol uh, Hamilton then and now we've only got three cars to overtake and we're only on lap three. So literally I could actually do this well within not even six laps. I'm going to say maybe even four laps we could do this uh, and get up into first place. And literally, we'll get into first now. Originally, I thought we'd get into second because Lance Stroll will be waltzing away with his maxed out car. But no, he's retired. So we're literally doing the last to question mark challenge here at the, at the Chinese Grand Prix with a maxed out car. And we might do it in literally four or five laps, which would be crazy. But you can see what I mean by mid-corner. We're now actually not catching as much as I thought we would be, which was it surprised me. But the AI, obviously, is pretty damn good here through the corners. And I guess, I don't know, um, most of the time we're gaining is on the acceleration, the traction, and then the brute force power. Maybe if I actually had a setup on, maybe I'd be getting more time in the corners. But look at this. The amount we close up on Ricardo and Raikkonen is actually ridiculous. This this engine is on absolute crack as we go down the inside of Raikkonen and we're up into second place then. And so now we've only got one position to overtake as we move on to lap four and we would have gone from last to first in four laps here. Let's try and do it on lap four to secure that. And either way, even if I'm not getting too much time in the corners and getting most of it on the straights, you can just see anyway that statement that we're able to do this in four laps just clearly shows basically how big of a margin that is basically from the kind of base season one with a few upgrades to the maximum car like i said on the on the chart you can pretty much pretty much see this car is two fields ahead of the field i'm racing at the moment um which is pretty pretty crazy but that obviously was the kind of you know experiment and question of uh, you know what would happen if we had one million points so like i said in part number one i guess of, of this video i didn't mean it to be a two-parter like i said but anyway in part number one i asked you guys what other experiments you guys want to see definitely let me know in the comments below obviously a lot of you guys suggested some things in the last episode but you know re say them or if you have if you've thought of new experiments we can do let me know in the comments below but yeah just fun little kind of crazy experiments we can do in short little videos like this to kind of just test how far the game will go or just test some scenarios that we've always wondered maybe in real life if you ever wanted a scenario in real life let me know what it is and we can see what we can do about it. Obviously, there are limitations to what I can do with the game and the modding and kind of different scenarios I can try and concoct up. But, uh, you know, I'll, I'll try and do them because uh, definitely you guys seem to respond and really, really enjoyed that, that R&D video that we did uh, a couple of days ago. And hopefully you guys will enjoy this one because here we go now down the inside. And there we go. We have overtaken the entire grid in less than four laps here. So that is what a maxed out Williams car looks against a whole field of only normal season one cars. And so that's this part of the video done. And so like I said, we will then be comparing the maxed out Williams car, every single upgrade compared to the bog standard Williams in time trial. Now I know it's not a fair comparison because the time trial scenario is a little bit faster than doing it in practice, but that kind of even shows more how fast the car is. Because on the left hand side is the default car in time trial. On the right hand side is my upgraded maxed out car and a lap I'm doing in practice on rich mix and hot lap mode, whereas left hand side is maximum hot lap mode and the ideal perfect condition for a hot lap here. And I know it's not going to be the most perfect scientific kind of comparison because you can see there I lock up on the left hand side on the default there. That's literally because like, there was that much lack of grip in the default Williams car. I just couldn't drive. But you can see 
if you compare Apex to Apex here, because now I'm delayed a little bit on the left-hand side, you can see, you can look on the right-hand side, then move your eyes on the left-hand side, you can see corner to corner how much more speed I'm actually carrying. So although to me, in that four-lap race, I wasn't actually gaining that much time in the corners, I, I must have really been gaining quite a bit more than I thought I was, because visually, you can see, like, even gear-wise, I'm able to go uh, one higher gear in a few corners, and just the speed. It looks like I've sped up the gameplay on the right-hand side, but that's not sped up. That's literally how fast that car is flying around the Chinese Grand Prix. And then by the end of the threat, you can see, compare the two uh, miles per hour clocks there, we got to 220, 221, whereas we only get to 208 there in the left-hand side default car. So that's the difference between the maxed out cars, not only in the corners, but then pure horsepower, straight line speed. And so that is a comparison then between a maxed out car and a default no upgrades on it time trial lap in the Williams car around the Chinese Grand Prix. But that is going to be then the end of this video and the two-parter kind of little videos that I didn't even plan to be a two-parter. But so many of you guys wanted to see this kind of comparison and see what the car actually dr uh, drove like there and under normal conditions in career mode. So there you go. There you have it. So if you have enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button, guys. Like I said, let me know any other experiments you want to see me do on the channel if you're new around here do get subscribed for weekly for long content and more of those silly wacky experiments to come up but i've been over home today i'll see you guys next time goodbye